Hi there. Jerry. Gerald, do you have an appointment? I'm visiting a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then your name would be in my appointment diary, yes? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have an appointment. You don't say. And do you really have a friend in the building? No. Then I suggest you turn around and walk out of here, miss. This is a private building. How do I call the elevator? You do not, miss. I call it. All right, thanks. No, you misunderstand. I call it. For people who work in the building, or for those with appointments with the people who work in the building. You are... How shall I put this? Street vermin. A hooligan. Scum. You were homesick the day they taught diplomacy, weren't you, Jerry? Gerald, please leave the building. What floor is Jacob McAllen on? We do not have a Jacob McAllen working here, miss. Do you have any McAllens at all? I'm not picky. I am not about to divulge any private information to a person such as yourself. Good for you, Jerry. Gerald! It would be so nice if you left now, miss. Can I bribe you? I'm sorry. What? Pay you to let me slip by you, unnoticed, into the elevator? For goodness sake, miss, absolutely not. I am not your common low life. I'm sure even a stand-up guy like you, Jerry, needs some pocket change now and then. Gerald! And no, I do not. Now I would like you to leave. Immediately. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? There's been no... Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? Me? Nah. Uh, been, been delivering pies to the, uh... To Venice, I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn. Oh, very well. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. <sighs> I can't very well leave my post, so... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? There are documents scattered all over the desk. Papers. There's nothing here that... That's my... That's my name! And my address! Obviously there's... God, they've been tracking me, watching me! Uh-oh! You were the last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I've spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name. Before you even came to Newport. And then, you simply walk into my lap. Like a mouse into a great big trap. Looking for the cheese. I'd imagine. The Guardian. Well, he's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting.
awaiting your directions. You do have them, yes. The directions to the Guardian's realm. Sorry, but I never managed to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. Hmm. Pity, really. And I thought you'd done so well on your journey across Arcadia. At least you have the disc and the two jewels I'm missing in your possession. So good of you to bring them here. I thought I might have to go pick them up myself. I have friends. Oh, you do. You do. The very best friends, too. Don't make me laugh, girl. Did you really expect your good buddy Cortez to tell you the truth? Or to come to your rescue like a knight in shining armor? He's been using you. Tobias, Cortez, the bloody kin, all your friends. They've been using you for their own selfish reasons. They're no different from me, Shifter. No different at all. They've helped me. You haven't. Haven't I? I could have caught you earlier, Shifter. I had my eyes and ears in Arcadia, and you have made quite a spectacle of yourself from time to time. But I let you go about your business. And now you return to me with precious gifts. So don't tell me I haven't helped you, just as you're helping me now. Now, you have been kept from the truth just as much as everyone, Shifter. You are just a piece in a grand game of chess. You're not even a big piece. You're a pawn. Now, give me the disc and the jewels, the dragon eyes. And then we can wrap this game up. I'm quite certain you know more than you let on about the Guardian's realm as well. I'll have that information too, very soon. not giving you anything. I have an army of devoted soldiers in this building, Shifter. I run this city. What are you going to do? Round up a mob of your friends? Forget about shifting as well. There are magical barriers against that in this building. All right, I give up. Here's the disc and the jewels. You see, I wasn't lying to you, unlike some of your accomplices. You don't have a choice. You must give me what you have. Fine. Who the hell cares anyway? I'm exhausted and I'm... I give up. Cortez has abandoned me. I've hurt my two best friends in the world and... and maybe you're right. Maybe you're no different from the Sentinel. Maybe they're as bad as you, and maybe you deserve each other. It doesn't matter, you've won. What are you gonna do now? Let me guess. This is where the heroine coaxes a confession from the villain before the final act of the play commences. Very well. I'm all for a satisfying denouement. What now? I have the Guardian, I have the disc, and the jewels, the key to the tower. And soon, if you play along like a nice little girl, I'll know where the gateway is. So you don't need me anymore? Apparently not. I thought I might, so I decided not to kill you. But now that I have the Guardian himself, your role in this game is... 
after you tell me what I need to know, of course. Then what will happen to me? Nothing. I'll let you go. You can do me no harm, and I'm not a cruel man. Not unusually so, at any rate. What happened to Cortez? Cortez. I had Gordon take care of him. He was just interfering too much for his own sake. There are rules, and he broke them. He brought you into... He broke the rules. What will you do once you open the gateway to the Guardian's realm? Gordon Alloway will take the Guardian's place in the tower, and he will rule according to my plan. The worlds will be reunited, and the Earth will be one realm, as it was, and as it should be. So, this is all part of your master plan to rule the Earth? When you put it like that, I guess, yes. But I'll be a fair and just ruler, my dear. What's the point? You're like, what, 60? In another 60 years, you'll be dead, and then what? Leave the kingdom to your firstborn? <laughs> I'll be around a lot longer than 60 years. A lot longer. You really don't know me, do you? You really don't know anything about me. Apparently not. How did you get the other two jewels? I've had one of them for ages. The other came into my possession only a week ago as luck would have it, and now I have the last two, and the disc. Why didn't you go look for the jewels and the pieces of the disc yourself? <sighs> I would have, but my power over Arcadia has been disturbingly limited until now. The Tyran have proved a valuable addition to my disciples, and with their help, I've dispensed with most of my opposition in Arcadia. But still, locating the stones would have required the cooperation of the Sentinel. Now, I may be a charismatic man, but I doubt they would have told me anything. And those wretched, magical races, you think they would have cooperated? No. They were waiting for their savior, their prophecy come true. And you seem to fit the bill. Why not take advantage of that? As for the jewels, the white and the blue of the dry kin were not likely to submit to me. And that was a battle even I'd be well advised to avoid. But time is ticking, Shifter, and the wheel of the balance is turning. Please, enter the elevator to your right. I want to show you something. What do you think? What is it? This is the end result of the centuries of work and research the Vanguard have done. A breeding ground for shifters such as yourself. Warrior shifters. So tell me, what do you think? Does it matter what I think? No. I'm just trying to be polite. Now, give me the disc and the jewels. And don't try anything this time. I might have to hurt you myself.
I will ask this one last time, because I am a patient man. Where is the gateway to the Guardian's realm? And I'll say this one final time because I'm a patient woman. Go screw yourself. That's all I needed to know. I'll leave you alone here for a while. When I come back, I'm sure you'll be a lot more cooperative.